Hey guys, uh, today I want to take you through how to install Ubuntu 20.04, which is codenamed uh, Focal Fossa. Uh, it's a pretty easy process, it's not uh, terribly hard compared to other Linux uh, distributions. So we'll start, uh, if you haven't already read in the description or on my website, I've got instructions about how to burn either a DVD or uh, better still a, a USB drive with Ubuntu on it. Um, to boot up and install that way. Um, I, I'm unable to do it with a video, it's, it's too complex to do, so you'll have to use the text uh, instructions to do that. So once you've done that and you've sorted out the boot uh, issues, uh, we'll go ahead with the install process. So the first screen, it'll just boot up and it'll do a, a quick uh, disk check on the installation media. Uh, just to make sure that all the uh, the files are not uh, corrupt and that they're all there. So it'll take a minute or two. Okay, so that's uh, finished now. No errors found. And then we continue on the, uh, the boot up process. Okay, so we come up to the first uh, install screen. You've got a choice to either try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. Now, what that means, try Ubuntu means that it will actually run in memory. It won't actually install on your computer. So if you just want to try it out, that's a good option. Uh, but if we're, we're, this video is about installing, so first thing we do is left-hand side, we choose our language. Okay, now it's a, a wide variety of languages. Most of you, it's going to be English. And then we just click install Ubuntu. Okay, so for the keyboard layout, um, most of you will leave it at English US for both options there, uh, unless otherwise needed. Uh, you can also use the detect keyboard layout button there, but I'm just going to leave that at defaults and click continue. Okay, so we come up to the type of installation. Uh, for the majority of you guys, uh, you want to stick with the normal installation, which will uh, install web browser, office games, and all that sort of software. If you just want a, a basic minimal installation, then you can choose that, that option there. Uh, for the other options item, we want to download updates while installing Ubuntu. That's actually optional. If you've got a slow connection or you just don't want to wait, you want a quicker in installation, then you can uncheck that. But the really important one here is to check the th install third-party software. Uh, if you've got Wi-Fi, graphics cards that require NVIDIA uh, drivers, uh, you absolutely need to, uh, to check that, to check that for any in installation, basically. Okay, uh, so we do that and we click continue. Okay, so now we come up to the uh, partitioning section. Uh, now, this is a clean disk, so it's got nothing on it. So I only have two options here, erase disk and install Ubuntu, which is the option I'll choose. If you're installing on a, a laptop or a computer that's had or has an operating system in it, like Windows, uh, you'll see a few other options there. Uh, this guide is specifically for a clean installation, so we choose erase disk and install Ubuntu. Um, if you wanted to install alongside Windows, you can uh, you can certainly do that. All right, so we check that that uh, selection box and we click install now, and then we'll get a uh, a prompt to uh, write the changes to disk. So we click continue. Okay, so now we're up to the uh, choose your time zone. Now, I know a lot of you don't think that um, this is important, but it's actually really important uh, because it will determine what mirrors uh, Ubuntu will use to uh, download updates, which means how fast it will be. Uh, if you put the wrong time zone in here and you're in the opposite side of the world, it will choose download servers on in over the other side of the world, so it'll be a lot slower. Uh, so I'm in Melbourne. Uh, or Melbourne time zone. Uh, you can just click anywhere on the map there and choose your time zone. And uh, but I'll check uh, check Melbourne there and then just click continue. Okay, so now we're up to the entering details. So popping your name or whatever 
uh, name you want there. Uh, computer's name, um, I'll just leave that at Richie VirtualBox because I'm using, that's what I'm using. Um, it should come up with a default name there for you. Uh, sometimes they're really long, so you might want to cut them back on the... Uh, you, you pretty much don't want anything past that box section in terms of width of, of the name. All right, uh, pick a username. Now, I'd probably just leave that at default too. Uh, choose your password. And confirm. Uh, I hate logging in, so um, I'm going to choose login automatically. Uh, most of you would probably want to choose require password to log on and then click continue. Okay, so now this section is where it's, it starts copying files and installing Ubuntu. Usually it takes about between 10 and 15 minutes depending on the speed of your hardware. So what I'll do is I'll pause here and I'll come back a bit later. Okay, so we've come to the end of the installation and it's prompting us to uh, restart now. So we click the uh, restart button there. And don't worry about the error messages, that's normal. Okay, so this is actually the, um, the very last screen which where you need to remove your USB or DVD disk from the drive. Uh, once you've done that, Hit enter and it should boot up into your login screen. Okay, so once you've logged in, uh, you'll be presented with a few things they want you to do, connect Google accounts, Microsoft accounts, um, etc. You can just skip that or if you want to connect. Uh, live patch uh, updates and security, you can set that up if you like, otherwise click next. Uh, or you can send uh, reports about your installation to Ubuntu, otherwise click next. Uh, location services, um, for a desktop or laptop I, I wouldn't do that and then you just click done. All right, so that's the first desktop. Um, now after about five minutes, you'll probably get a, a pop-up that says uh, wants to do updates. So go ahead and do that. Uh, otherwise, you can explore the apps. If you bottom left-hand screen, that's like the start button for, for Windows and you'll find all your apps in there. Um, if you've got a lot after a while, you can search. Uh, otherwise, just scroll. So that's about it. Uh, any, there you go, there's the, uh, the software updater, um, so that'll most likely happen to you too, so I would just go ahead and install that. Alright, uh, okay guys, any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.